Hello guys, our topic for today is high level language and my name is Faith Uso. Now the objective of these lessons are that students should be able to define high level language, should be able to give examples of high level language, should be able to classify high level language according to purpose and they should be able to give advantages of high level language over other languages. So let's start with the definition of high level language. We say that a high level language is a program language that enables a programmer to write programs that are independent of a particular type of computer, unlike other levels of languages. A high level language, the, the programmer writes programs that don't depend on a particular type of computer, meaning that it can work on different types of computer. Okay, it's high level because they are closer to human languages. It's just like our human languages that we use for communication. That's how the high level high level languages work. So, okay, high level language or high level source code. They contain easy to read syntax that is later converted into a low level language that can be recognized and run by a specific CPU. That is to say that they contain um. They are contain letters or words that is readable by humans, which are later converted into a machine code or a machine language for the computer to understand. If you look at the diagram here, when a high-level language is being written by a programmer, the translator converts it to a machine code that the computer will be able to understand, which is in ones and zeros. Okay, so there are very many examples, there are so many examples of high-level language. So one of them is Pascal, we have um, COBOL, which is Common Business Oriented Language, we have C++, we have Java, we have C, we have Fortran, we have so many others, okay? So now we classify high-level language according to their purpose, sorry, according to the basis of the application area. So we will, under that, we considering four, that's the commercial languages, scientific languages, special purpose languages, and general purpose languages, okay? So for the commercial languages, just like the name implies, these programming languages, they are dedicated to the commercial domain. That means they are used in our business sectors a lot, okay? They are specially designed for solving business-related problems, okay? Any problem related to business, these programming languages are designed for that. Now, COBOL is the best example of this, or in this business domain, okay? That's our commercial high-level languages. The most dominant or the most um, best example for it is COBOL. Okay, now let's go to our scientific language. Let's the name apply scientific. So they are used for calculations and uh, scientific problems, to solve scientific problems, okay? Now, these programming languages are dedicated to the scientific domain and they are designed for solving different scientific and mathematical problems, okay? So Fortran is the best example of a scientific language a scientific high level language all right then we'll talk about um, the special purpose language just as the name implies for special or specific purpose they are designed for performing dedicated functions okay an example a very good example of them is sql okay that is used or implied or applied in our database programs only okay now, the last one we're considering is our general purpose languages. These programming languages are used for developing different types of software. They're not streamlined to a particular special. I don't like special purpose languages that are streamlined, okay? So examples are basic, uh, C, uh, C++, and our Java. They are all used to, um, they're for all the open applications, or they are used to develop different types of software. You can see your mobile apps, your web apps, they are all used, okay? That's for general purpose. Um, application. Alright, so now advantage of high level languages over other level languages is that the first is that is the main advantage of high level language over other programming languages is that they are easier to read, write, and maintain. Unlike other level languages, the high level languages are easy to read. They are codes that are readable by a human. Okay, so there's an ease, easy with interaction with the computer through the use of high level languages which are now later converted into machine languages for the computer to understand. Okay, then number two is that high-level languages, they make complex programming simpler. Okay, they're very simple or they make complex programming simple. Now, the, the, the error ratio is less in high-level language. 
okay and debugging is easier i don't like before you have to study machine language or, or study machine code for you to be able to write program but the high level language they are easier for you to write and they're easier for you to maintain or debug okay that's correct or make corrections then the length of the program is small compared to low level language low level languages are very lengthy but the high level languages they are they are, the length have been reduced there are many real time problems can be solved with the high level language okay now so we've spoken about them um, the high level language in a programming language that enables a programmer to write programs we gave examples like pascal cobalt fortran and the rest okay and we said the advantages of them so now for our exercise we're considering and we'll say what is a high level language give examples explain the classification and state the advantages of high level languages over others okay thank you